My name's Ian, and I'm here at Batty Dartford Training Centre, and I'll be delivering today's Tuesday's training tip. If the expansion vessel has lost pressure, we all know we can recharge the unit. But what you might not know is at the end of recharging, you can just put some leak detector fluid on top of the Schrader valve. If this bubbles, it indicates that the Schrader valve is leaking. And instead of changing the entire expansion vessel, you can simply remove the expansion vessel Schrader valve. What you need is one of these. It's a Schrader valve removal tool. Make sure you depressurize the unit before taking out the Schrader valve. This will remove the possibility of the Schrader valve shooting out under pressure. Then quite simply, place the tool in and wind out the Schrader valve. Once the Schrader valve is out, you can change it as an individual part, saving yourself time and money. Thanks for watching and come back next week for more Tuesday's training tips.